Hey guys, and welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. In today's video, well, we're having a look at something special. I've not done a video on the Nintendo 64 core for some time, but today we are looking at cheats. And as you can see, I'm selecting instant triple jump because, right, who doesn't like triple jump, right? So there's no single jump, there's no double jump, there's triple jump. And what's really funny is, as I was filming this video, when I came to the end, there's actually an, uh, an update for the cheats available that fixes a lot of the bugs. I encountered a few bugs, but a lot of cheats actually work. So a big shout out to Robert Pape, the developer. Also a big shout out to YX Calais, I think that's how you say it, for actually introducing cheats to the core. And a massive shout out to Robbie from Obra, the FPJ Gaming Discord, for pointing some obvious things out to me that I failed to see. But let's have a look at some cheats and let's get into the video. If you're not subscribed, then a subscription and a like is always super duper appreciated. Okay, so now let's have a look at Killer Instinct. And guys, if you want to get this up and running for yourself and you want to try it out, stick around to the end of the video and I'll do a quick tutorial. But the, we're going to do a couple of cheats for Killer Instinct. The first one, fight Gargos immediately. And even though I've never really played the N64 version too much, I do like it. I think it's great. I imagine Gargos is the final boss. And, well, you can fight him straight away. You don't, you don't need to go through the whole game. And it kind of looks cool. Kind of reminds me of, like, Firebrand, right? From uh, Gargoyle's Quest and what the ghouls and ghosts ghosts and goblins games but guys this is fantastic to have for me uh, if i'm making videos like usually when i play a game i play the beginning part of the game but now i can kind of move around and make it look like i've played through the entire game uh, with some cheats i'm not the biggest fan of cheats but i like the fact that they're there they let you kind of experiment and mess around with some decent things but you know what if getting to gargos wasn't enough why not try player one as a fatty and we're still going to fight gargoyles immediately right so we've put player one as a fatty and uh, to make him fat i was just curious i wanted to see it so here we are we're going to fight the last boss straight away and as you can see it's just kind of made the characters bigger it kind of looks like zoomed in or more like more zoomed in and a little bit wider so like i said there's fun to be had there's different types of um there's different type, types of cheats right so if you if you came across a game that you couldn't complete as a kid you know you can use stuff like infinite energy unlimited life all those kind of things to help you or you can just make the game curse by making all the characters fat next up let's do some smash brothers so I, I wanted to try something simple here it was crashing a lot so i want i done infinite jump or infinite jump all players all modes but as you can see sometimes it just doesn't like stuff happening so as soon as i kind of started and i've done a jump it just crashed now um literally as i said when i finished it there's another update out maybe this has been resolved now but you may get some crashes right so it's all about experimentation and enjoying yourself okay we all love goldeneye right but what can make goldeneye better that's right having a bullet clip with 200 000 bullets in it so you can go around firing like an absolute madman now you know what guys i don't know if i'd use this or not but it is just fun i mean look at the numbers there right i've got like actually it's even more than that isn't it it's 2,949,113 bullets right i mean that should be quite a big clip guys again there's a lot of fun to be had like go try this out there's some crazy ones in there we're gonna look at some more later but you know i love goldeneye ah, well you know what, what makes goldeneye better having some more bullets so um yeah absolutely awesome i'm definitely gonna have some more fun with this i've tried a few games out i had more success than i had failures and you know this is just fun to try out how many bullets will it take to shoot that truck i don't know i'm not gonna find out right now so when you uh, when you start playing a little bit of f0 right one of like when you when you see a cheat called cool cool camera right you, you gotta try it i mean this is this is one of the best like races i've played period i, I kind of like do you know what? we actually had this uh, i went around to my friend's house he actually had the cartridge he was one of my best friends but i don't ever really remember playing this on the n64 we didn't play it at the time it's a game that i love now but guys maybe you want to try this maybe you don't it looks like it's got the replay camera i'm actually playing the game there and it is as tough as nails i don't know whether i'm coming up gang left or right up or down absolutely no idea all i know that it was fun to try for the video but, but this is definitely not a way i would like to play it maybe you know if you're gonna have a party and you're gonna have the boys and girls around and like you know what you're like let's have a party game and see who can get the best time on this wacko mode because the camera's all over the place uh but again it's interesting to check out and maybe it'll put a new twist on a game i absolutely suck that i'm not actually that bad i'm getting better at f-zero because i've been playing it a bit but here i am retired 
Okay, let's try out some gauntlet. And in this one, I tried I had like a few different cheats, right? Always shoot three-way, always shoot five-way, always shoot rapid fire on, get infinite amount of items on pickup, have rune stones, have window shards, infinite everything, infinite health. Man, and you know what? <laughs> Here I am. I'm taking on everyone. I'm just destroying them. So as soon as I grab an item, uh, I just get the max amount. <laughs> and you know what? This might take the fun out of the game, but it's definitely putting the fun in the video. So if you wanted to play gauntlet, you get one key. You've got unlimited keys you've got unlimited health there's a lot you can put on and this was a good example of uh, i wanted to try out like a multiple number of cheats on to see if it would crash you know the game or not um and it didn't i ran like what was it five six cheats there maybe even more everything's running with success now i'm kind of standing around and letting those guys beat me because i'm invincible but effectively you could just run through the game you don't even need to get the keys right because six is the max number you can get every time a key goes down one uh, the key goes back up every time your health goes down a bit it just goes back up <laughs> Okay, let's go back to Mario 64. I had to look at this one. Mario missing your right leg. I was like, okay, what's happening? And as you can see down there, it's more, well, it's, it's right leg is missing, right? Because you can't see in the pants. But he's got no shoe there. He's got an invisible leg and I had to check it. And, you know, given the fact he's done jumping and he's been jumping around for years, he's probably got some kind of disability right where they had to amputate his foot i don't know maybe cooper bit it something happened but yeah mario's disabled he's on state benefits and well actually he's still jumping around quite well on uh, on a single leg but again it's got crazy stuff like that to check out so guys let's wrap it up by looking at a bit some star a bit of some star fox so infinite energy infinite smart bombs if that's how you want to play and let's go through the game and let's just smash through smart bombs um i've got to give a big shout out to uh Dinitro as well who's been kind of helping me with um graphics and stuff hopefully there'll be some projects uh, upcoming with him maybe uh, some merch uh some pixel cherry ninja and gaming related merch that will kind of help support the channel if that's something you want to do and you want to get some cool merch as well so that logo you see in the top left mr fpj that was done by him and it's really really cool we've got like a a perfect dark font and mr fpj written there i think it looks really really nice he sent me some other stuff as well that i really really like but going back to this right man if you ever wanted to play star fox with bombs because you know what you savor those bombs right you you save them for a special occasion right it's like a it's like your most expensive bottle of wine your your you know your, your most prestigious uh cuban cigar if, if you're smoking or whatever right the bombs you savor them for a special occasion well you know what today is a special occasion we got the cheese and we're just gonna blast everything with bombs bombs away bombs everywhere absolutely awesome guys and that really is it for the video i wanted to show a few games try this out for yourself uh stick around for the tutorial and i'll show you guys how to get it up and running but this is it if you just wanted to see gameplay the next part is going to be the tutorial of how you can put it on your mister it's relatively simple but for those of you that need the hand the hand is coming Okay, guys, if you're still here, it means uh, you want to get the latest N64 core for your Mr. FPGA as well as Cheeks running. Now, uh, this will run on any Mr. setup. It, it's not dependent on a single RAM setup or a dual RAM setup like, say, the Sega Saturn core. So what you want to do is if you're not already a member of the Mr. FPGA Discord, you want to become a member of that Discord. Now, there'll be an invite link to that in the description. Just be mindful because there's an invite link to my uh, the PC and gaming Discord as well. Obviously, if you want to join that, you're welcome. If not, then the one you need in order to get the call is the mr fpj discord and when you go there head over to feed and test builds and then you want to head over to test builds and you're going to find everything you want there now download these files here so you want to download um here we go this one here the latest version of the core so you can click the download link here i've already kind of got this stuff here so uh and then what you want to do is this one here mr n64 cheats uh this one here 1802 2024 so click download there let the downloads do its thing i've already kind of prepared them i've got them here already so first of all this is the latest call the 17th which is yesterday right so let's just copy this and let's copy this into the consoles folder i already have it in here but once i copy in here it's gonna it's gonna ask me do i want to overwrite it yeah let's replace that in here for the sake of this video uh so just to kind of point out sorry i usually do it at the beginning this is my downloads folder on the left and over here on the right where we began it was the root of my mister's micro sd card okay we have the latest version of the core on there that has uh cheat support in the ost and it can be picked now if you've got a if you've got the normal mister main or you've got the latest unstable mister main 
uh, you're not going to be able to select cheats on there. I've got to thank Robbie for that because I was kind of overlooking that and Robbie pointed out that there is a particular version of Mr. May now which will be in here. So let's go ahead and unzip that. I use 7-zip but you know use whatever you guys do just use it. Let's just extract that here. It always goes over to my main screen but we've got that here now. So let's quickly get rid of our other download which was a cheats download just the zip version of it just to keep everything tidy. So when you go here, this is the Mr. Main that you've got. So if uh, if you if you haven't got an unstable and you haven't messed around with anything before, you're going to have a Mr. A file just called Mr. No extension. You're going to have that on the root of your SD card. Just in case you're a little bit paranoid or you're a little bit afraid that something may go wrong, you can just go ahead and rename the one on your micro SD card. I'll rename it video tut for video tutorial right just for the sake of this video i've renamed that and if if i want to go back i can delete the new file i'm about to put on here which is right over here okay so i've put that on here so i've got the main the main the mr main that's required to get cheats working on the nintendo 64 core if i run into an issue i just need to delete this and rename this one back from uh, mr video tut or whatever you've named it to back to mr and you're back exactly where you left off then you're going to find a folder called cheats okay so then head over to the cheats folder and as you can see in the cheats you've got a folder called n64 and this folder here contains all the cheats the cheats that i was using so uh, here we go so what you can just do just to keep things simple you've got a folder here called uh cheats as well and as you can see there's different ones in there and we're waiting to get n64 in there sorry i deleted mine just so i can put it on fresh for the purpose of this video easiest thing to do even easier just you know, if you're unaware of this just just get the cheats folder just drag it to your root and it will just copy it all in the right place it will merge it and if we have a look over here now while it's doing that you're going to see n64 is created and it's just going to get larger and larger and larger as it happens uh, oh let's see if i can get it down before it all copies over here you go you're going to see more and more coming in and that's it done and guys once you've done this you're good you've got cheats you now you've got cheats you just need to you know go into your osd select cheats on and pick the cheats that you want now a bit of good practice and just a little bit of recommendation um i don't think the two cheats are applied real time so once you apply your cheats just reset the game and it'll start again and one thing um one, one thing that's said in the notes is back up your saves so make sure you back up your saves beforehand especially if you've invested time in games because messing around with cheats and everything can mess some of your stuff up especially stuff like your save files so that's really it guys kind of hope you enjoyed it if you did a subscription or like is super duper appreciated take care of one another be good to one another this is pixel cherry ninja out